Hi everyone. I want to introduce you to my new project in order for me to learn technology. This is a MacBook 2010 unibody. I got from a new and renew on South Street in Philadelphia. I gotta shout them out because I love the way they do business. They're a small business that's interested in building uh, relationships in the community and they cut me a great deal on this MacBook. They threw in a free extension cord uh, on the spot they did this and I like the way they do business. Check them out on Yelp, check out their website, but first check them out on Craigslist because that's where I found this deal. It wasn't listed on the website. Anewrenew.com Okay, so this is my project. Right now it has a uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM and I'll be upgrading that to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the, uh, it's a hard drive, I'll be upgrading that to a solid state drive and the processor is a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo running I believe OS X 10.8 which I believe is Mountain Lion so I want to show you the parts that I bought the RAM is 16 gigabit gigabytes I bought it from OWC I could have found better I could have found cheaper but I'm not a big tech guy so I trusted what's guaranteed to work in this MacBook and that's this OWC you can see how it's packaged let me open it up for you right now and I'll put links in all the descriptions again I could have found better stuff but this is guaranteed to work and that saves me a hell of a lot of headache and frustration perfect OWC 16 gigabytes RAM is that right? hope it is yep next is the solid state drive now the big thing nowadays is a Samsung like Evo 850 or 840 I thought about that but when I was looking on the forums there wasn't a lot of data saying the MacBook unibody could handle a Samsung you know 850 or an 840 uh, even the 2010 MacBook Pros the forums were saying where it won't accept a hard drive or it will and then it'll crash after a week or it'll crash after a month and again in order to save headaches I just went with Crucial because on their website they also have a tracker which shows you specifically what your MacBook will take and what's guaranteed to work here's how they packaged it let me open it up for you Crucial MX200 250 gigabytes I believe I bought that on Amazon warehouse deals which I really really recommend I always buy from them every chance I get they said this was damaged packaging you get it at a much cheaper price and honestly it's not that damaged I can see a few dents like right here but that's that you save money where you can and honestly the quality is still there and it's Amazon so you can definitely uh, return it for a full refund so let me take you through and show you just how fast the MacBook is right now ready thought I didn't push that power button for a second. I'll stop it as soon as the startup screen comes up. By the way, I'm a lifelong PC user and I love MacBook. It's so it's an actual experience. I didn't know what I was missing when I wasn't using a MacBook. This is just a backup laptop, by the way, used for traveling and just so I don't mess up my main one which is an HP it's running Windows I think 8.1 let's keep it going until there we go so to get to this point one minute 3.44 seconds to start up not 
fast. Really not fast. About this Mac, a 2.4 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM running, OS X 10.8.5. Uh, let's see how fast it takes Safari to start up. Alrighty, one, two, three. Okay, 2.6 seconds. And how about one more? We'll say iTunes. One, two, three. So, 5.41 seconds. I'm going to cut this video now, put in the work, and I'll show you how it works after the upgrades. Okay. So, we are recording, and I'm back. I just upgraded the RAM and the hard drive. And let me tell you about what the inside of the computer looked like. It was filthy. There's hair and there's dust. And also, the hard drive bracket and the hard drive retaining posts or the mounting screws were missing. So, uh, make of that what you will. But as far as I'm concerned, when you buy used, you just don't really know what you're getting. So I'll be sure to replace that and I'll reopen the computer and make sure I clean because it is filthy in there. Looks like it's never been cleaned in the six years that it's been around. Alright, so let me get my timer ready and we will see how fast this thing boots up. Solid state drive in there, here we go, one, two, three. Much faster, huh? We'll wait for it to fully load. And if you are interested in doing this yourself, I will post all the tutorials that I used in the description. Uh, you're going to need Carbon Copy Cloner, which is a software you can download for free. Um, pretty sure that's it. Just watch the YouTube videos and something to actually open up the computer. Now the first time this started it showed over a minute. Well I shut it down and then restarted it again it was much much faster so this time that you're seeing now I suspect will be a lot faster the second time I boot it up. Okay right now we have 101.72 Now let's open up Safari. One, two, three. Okay, 2.06. We'll shut that down. And we'll open up iTunes. One, two, three. 2.6 and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a significant update to the last one. Let's see about this Mac. 16 gigs of RAM. Perfect. So that's that. I'm looking forward to using this thing. I bet it's going to be really great. Even though it's 2016 and this is a six-year-old computer. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I wanted to test my theory that it'll be faster uh, booting up the second time around. Here we go. One, two, three.
Okay. So it was faster second time around. Less than a minute. 53.07. And improvement is an improvement. Maybe it'll if that be maybe it'll be faster the third time around. Who knows? I'm not gonna record it. It's faster. I'm happy. Thanks for watching.